Hello, um, yeah, <laughs> I am right now in Cluj in Romania, um, trying to find my way over to the old town. Uh, why am I here? Well, <laughs> well, let me tell you. So, um, yeah, as I said, I'm right now in Cluj, Romania. Um, I've been attending a an aviation conference, which was super interesting. I didn't really, well, I didn't do any vlogging. I could have done some recording there, but it just didn't really feel right. I'm certainly not vlogging, but uh, yeah, a few glimpses I did manage to get. <laughs> um, but it was super, super interesting. Um, not that I really have a specific story coming out of this, but it was really amazing for networking getting to meet people so it was uh, yeah really really nice but i did kind of get stuck here a little bit because um, the event started on a thursday um, then the main part of the event was on a friday and um, it was suggested that um, staying a few days more would be a good idea because there would be some excursions um, and uh, so i thought okay you know what I'm gonna book my hotel, make sure that I have the extra days. And then I got the program for like after the actual event, so for the excursions. And it wasn't excursions, it was an excursion. And there was basically no information about it. It didn't look very interesting when I Googled it, so I, <laughs> I skipped out on that. But it meant I've been here now over the weekend, so right now it's a Sunday. Yesterday I just relaxed because it's been a couple of long days um, and uh, yeah just walked around in the near vicinity of my hotel right now I'm walking around in a in a park of sorts I'm trying to head towards the old city center of Cluj you know just to get a feeling of the place but um, yeah as I say I'm, I basically got stuck a little bit here because I have nothing really to do um, before I came to Cluj I went to Copenhagen and wanted to do some plane spotting there so I could have edited the footage from that but unfortunately it was extremely foggy in Copenhagen so I didn't manage to record a single thing uh, which I think is the very first time I've gone on a spotting trip and come home with absolutely nothing um, so yeah, so that part kind of what I was thinking I could do during the weekend here Well has not materialized The excursion wasn't interesting <laughs> um, Yeah, so let's see what this vlog will be uh, as I don't have any aircraft models around me at the moment I don't really know <laughs> What else I can show you but yeah, I'm heading to the old town now just to get a feeling for the place here because I've never been to Cluj uh, So far it looks really nice. Uh, I have to say also, I'm using the microphone that comes with this camera using my Osmo Pocket 3 and I've had very mixed results with this microphone so I hope that it works <laughs> um, and that the audio is acceptable um, yeah so let's see what Cluj has to offer Right, so um, I've entered or left the park, but uh, I'm actually not quite sure how far away I'm from the old town. So I think a little bit of help from <laughs> Google Maps is in order here. Let's see where we are. This is not too bad. I don't know if you can actually see anything on the screen here, but... So how do I have to go here? Uh, could go down the road here and then we come to our main road? It's Sunday here, so I guess most shops will be closed. But I'm hoping that uh, when we're in the old town, maybe there's a cafe, a restaurant or something, to get a bite to eat. They have a lot of universities here apparently. 
Um, I think the population is maybe around just under a million, but like a hundred thousand students. So yeah, not too bad for such a city. I think I've managed to take quite a detour. Uh, yeah, I took a wrong turn somewhere, but uh, heading to the old town now. So, uh, I mean, I guess we're already in the old town, but heading to the old town according to Google. So let's see how much older it can get. So I guess we're in the old uh, old town now of Cluj. I mean, it's a nice looking place. The architecture is quite nice. Um, I mean, <laughs> not that I'm an expert in any of that, but I'd say, yeah, definitely some hongo austrian influences. Uh, what else can I come up with as seemingly knowledgeable? <laughs> uh, no, really lovely place. So you might be thinking, why on earth am I attending an aviation conference? Because I mean, obviously the channel here is uh, mainly focusing on uh, aircraft models, but I of course also do quite a bit aviation stuff from like the real life. Uh, for that I of course have my second channel, some of you might already know it, the Pongo Plains does aviation channel, um, but I also do quite a bit of aviation journalism. Um, I do it sometimes for my own channels in form of trip reports but um, I mean last year I had a little documentary from a flight museum in Denmark and right now I'm actually working on two more projects which hopefully um, I mean one of them will should be finished fairly soon and the other one uh, hopefully over the summer um, but I do also quite a bit of um, reporting on aviation stuff for a Danish or Scandinavian online travel magazine called Inside Flyer. And um, apart from every now and then writing an article, um, I do also quite a bit of videos for their YouTube channel, which isn't called Inside Flyer, but Travel Plus Loyalty. And I think last year I managed to do like 11 videos, I think just under one video per month on average. Um, and I mean that's stuff like uh, route openings at airports in Denmark but it's also um, I mean last year I had a fantastic trip to Abu Dhabi with Etihad Airways as they opened their route from Copenhagen to Abu Dhabi and did a bunch of stuff there so things like that and um, it's something that I really do enjoy but it's obviously like there's no clear career path into stuff like that um, and ultimately, much of it just comes down to having good connections, knowing people, um, or knowing people who know people. Um, so this aviation event that I attended here in Cluj, um, I'm not really coming back with a, a story. I mean, I actually kind of picked up on some idea for a story, but I don't really come back with a story. I don't really report about it as such but it was a brilliant event for networking, meeting people that are working in the business, meeting other aviation journalists, um, talking about their experiences. Um, and yeah, so this has been a really, really nice experience. And the good thing is also that um, they have kind of multiple events throughout the year. And uh, at least as it stands right now, it looks like I will be able to attend a few more this year. I think the next one is in Chisinau in Moldova 
um, which is also a place that I have never been to, so I, that could be quite cool. And I think later in the year there is like um, an event in uh, Sofia in Bulgaria. So this is, um, yeah, something I really do look forward to. I hope that it will work out so I can attend these because, yeah, as I say, this is mainly for networking, but it's just really, really good for that uh, in the sense of, yeah, meeting interesting people and making new connections um, which then in the future can lead to some interesting stories not just when I'm reporting for Inside Flyer or Travel Plus Loyalty but also for my own um, channels um, so yeah <laughs> although I must say uh, as much as I enjoy being at these kind of events it's also the biggest pain um, because you are I mean, I arrived here, it was the first event of that kind that I attended and uh, I didn't know anyone. The person that actually got me invited couldn't attend himself, so I didn't know anyone. And standing in this big, big room with a lot of people that, I mean, there were important people there. The CEO of, or president of Wizz Air was there, for example, or former um, CEO of Etihad Airways was there. And people like that, and you just don't know any of them and you just feel like totally out of place. and. A bit of social anxiety kicks in I guess also with me so it's like um, I should talk with anyone but how on earth am I gonna start a conversation um, so it's quite awkward at times but um, but I did manage to talk with uh, quite a few really interesting people and make some good connections I think so um, yeah and sometimes you also just have to put yourself out there um, and think about yes it is awkward yes you're nervous as hell and you don't really know how to start a conversation but then at some point you've just started a conversation with someone and you get to know them and uh, learn a bit about their backgrounds and suddenly you've talked with a bunch of people and uh, you have the business cards and you start writing with them and um, it, you don't know what it can lead to so yeah um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm waffling about all this but as I, I can't show you any aircraft models today and I don't really know what's uh, how much I will include in this uh, um, vlog. Yeah, I'm just sitting here on a bench in the, I guess, main town square of Cluj, um, talking to you guys. So, putting myself out there, yeah. Um, but it's my last day here. Um, tomorrow morning, I have a really early morning flight, something I don't enjoy. Um, I don't like burn really early morning flights. It's like, I think departure is quarter past six. I'm getting picked up in the lobby two hours before departure. So it, yeah, it's going to be something like getting up at three o'clock, getting ready, checking out of the hotel, driving to the airport. And depending on my energy levels, I will try to do a trip report. Um, but I will see. Maybe, maybe not. Depends on my mood tomorrow morning, to be honest. But yeah, I think I'm um, going to continue stroll through the city and then see what comes up. I guess we're kind of leaving the more city center area but uh, to be honest I'm actually also kind of heading back to the hotel um, because yeah honestly I don't really know what else to do <laughs> also I do need to re uh, start um, charging some batteries for the trip tomorrow if I want to record it uh, I better have some charged batteries and uh, I only have one card for the room um, and unfortunately, if I don't leave it in this like device next to the door, it uh, kills the electricity. So I can't really charge any batteries while I'm out and about, which is a bit annoying. But uh, I mean, I guess I could have asked for a second card, but uh, too late now. So now I think, yeah, heading back to the hotel. If I come past a supermarket or something, I'd love to, to get some supplies, yeah, some water, some snacks maybe. Um, also, I haven't even eaten any lunch yet, but maybe later. And then, 
I guess just relaxing the rest of the day until, until, um, no, <laughs> don't know what she wanted. Uh, but anyways, getting back and then see what else the day has. Uh, anyways, I need to get in bed quite early. If I have to get up at three o'clock in the morning and don't want to be completely destroyed, uh, then I'd better, well, yeah, get, get in bed early, but let's see. Switch to my phone. <laughs> it started raining like really fast out of nowhere. The weather switched, and uh, nowhere near any cafe or something that is open. So I got a few supplies from a supermarket, and I'm just heading back to the hotel, trying not to get too wet. But uh, as you can see, I'm not very successful. Uh, yeah, I did not have this on my radar. Uh, last I checked the weather, there was no news about rain, so I didn't bring a coat. Not ideal. <laughs> Almost at the hotel. I think the last time I had a weather switch like this, it's a few years back. I was in New Zealand, I was doing some spotting in Auckland. And honestly, it was the nicest weather you could imagine. And then from one moment to the other it was almost like monsoon rain it just appeared out of nowhere I got soaked and it was quite a far walk from the end of the runway back to my airport hotel but a very very uh, lovely Kiwi came along and picked me up and drove me back to the hotel I was still soaked but uh, yeah I'm getting soaked again but this time in Romania Soaked. Uh, back in the hotel. I need to dry it up. <laughs> uh, managed to find a little kiosk where I could get a snack, so I'll get some lunch after all. Uh, I haven't cleaned my room yet. Oh well.